Okay, guys, let's go over some of these inequalities that we have that are not in y equals form. So if you look at the one I have here, y plus 4x is less than or equal to 5. Remember, we want this to be in this form to be able to graph it. So that means that at least here we know this x is in the wrong spot. So we're going to sub start by subtracting 4x from both sides. So y is less than or equal to negative 4x plus 5. So once you get that piece, and it's now more in this form, then I can go through and I can make my four boxes here to start to get my information. So my m is negative 4 over 1. My b value is 5. If that's my inequality, I know I'm going to have a filled in line. And I know if it looks like this, that I'm going to shade under. So now we're going to go to our graph and actually graph this. So I'm going to start with positive 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's my first point. My slope here is negative 4 over 1. So I'm going to go down 4 and over 1. And I'm going to keep going until I run out of spots. Okay, once I get this, I know from what we've done up here, I have to have a filled in line. So I'm going to do my best here to draw a filled in line without a straight edge. Okay. Arrows on the end. Now I also know that with this, I'm going to be shading under. So if I'm shading under, so under my line is going to be on this side. Now remember, when we really color it in, we want to make sure there aren't any spots that aren't covered. Also make sure that you're getting close to the line, but don't quite touch it, because we want to be able to tell by looking at it exactly what's going on. Okay, let's go to the next one. So what happens with this one if my equation is negative 1x minus 4y is greater than or equal to negative 12. So I'm going to start, remember, we want to be able to get it to be in this form. So we're going to have to move the x, and we're going to have to somehow deal with the number in front of y. So because that's positive 1x, I'm going to start by subtracting 1x from both sides. It's negative 4y. It's greater than or equal to negative 1x minus 12. Then, in order to get y by itself, I'm going to have to divide by negative 4. Now, like we were talking about in class, this is where that buzzer starts going off in my head. Because I know I'm going to have to flip the sign because this has a negative that you divided by. So, when this comes down, instead of being greater than or equal to, it's going to be less than or equal to. So, on this side, the negative and the 4s are gone, and you're left with y. On the other side, the negatives cancel, so it's going to be just positive 1 fourth x. And then on the other one, I'm going to have negative 12 divided by negative 4, which is positive 3. So once I have a form that looks more like this, I can go ahead and draw my four boxes. My slope is 1 fourth. My b value is 3. With that kind of inequality, I know it's going to have to be a filled in line. And with this kind of inequality, I know it's going to be shaded below. So let's go ahead and graph this. Okay. 
Okay, let me just make a general line on here for X and Y. Okay, so if I look at this, I start with my y-intercept of 3. So 1, 2, 3. And my slope is 1 over 4, so I'm going to go up 1 over 4. Up 1 over 4. Okay, now we know it's going to be a filled-in line. I'll do the best I can here without a straight edge. Draw my arrows on the end. And I know it has to be shaded below. So below is going to be down here. Okay, be sure you go over your stuff from today, and we'll do this as